These uh, Subaru bulbs, uh, these assemblies, so you're not just buying a bulb, you're buying an assembly with it. Um, they're 10 years old and uh, it's always a good idea to uh, replace them before they burn out if you hit the 10 year mark. It's just like an anniversary and you want to think about that and keep that special. Um, the parts have a type code 9006. So when you get a 9006 bulb, you're always getting a Subaru fog lamp. Uh, it could match up with another car, but that's what you're getting, a Subaru fog lamp. Now, uh, these are 12.8 volt, 55 watt HP fours. Those last three letters might represent uh, a different style of light. So you might have a white one versus yellow one, uh, one that uh, consumes more power, maybe burns a little bit brighter. So uh, do be aware of the different codes on the packages, should the packages look the same. Um, you want to keep both bulbs exactly alike. Something you need to know about fog lights on a Subaru. Now, my fog light switch is turned on, but my headlamps are turned off and the car is in park. Let's see what happens when I change that. So we're gonna go from off to on. Now my parking brake is in the down position. On some cars that actually affects whether or not your uh, other lights are turned on or not. So here we go. So I have my headlight, I have my daytime running lamp there running, and I have a yellow fog light. So I've got a little bit of yellow coming out of that master lamp, but I've really got a nice yellow or amber color coming out of that fog light. So that's really, really, really going to be great for me. The bulb housing, uh, I see fixtures sometimes, but the housing has three tabs on it. And uh, what that is, is uh, you'll be able to insert this housing into the reflector dish, I would call it. It's, it's actually the, the housing of the bulb itself. Uh, when it's attached. So um, you're going to stick this assembly into the housing for the bulb and turn it. So there's going to be three uh, notched out areas uh, that you may not be able to see because it's up inside. You're going to turn this so that it fits into that dish and then you're going to turn it to lock it into place. So usually when you install the bulb you're at about a mm, Oh, I don't know, not quite 180, you're talking like, uh, you know, four o'clock or five o'clock. So you're down here around four o'clock. You're gonna stick it in and you're gonna rotate it until it's at six o'clock. And that's how you're gonna install the pole if you're installing it blind. I want to thank everyone for watching my video today. What is holding this thing in? Ha, <laughs>